Well, we broke the Model T. A couple weekends ago, we were at a car show, and we start the Model T. We hear clink, and we're like, oh no, and we look, the fan belt stopped spinning. And then we notice it was cut. And like, that's interesting. So to start a Model T without a starter, you have the lower pulley that comes off the crankshaft, and then it has a pin that goes through it. And one side is supposed to be smaller, so it's not supposed to go through like that. Oops. But it goes through, and then you'd have the crankshaft with this thing on it. It goes in, and when you push it in, it locks in, and then you twist it, and it, that's how you, you start it. And when we turned it off, and we saw the fan belt was ripped, we looked down there, and the pin was broken. So what had happened is, let's say the pin's in it, it's spinning, it just stuck out just a little bit, and it hit the oil pan, and cracked the pin and when it came out it also cut the fan belt so then we started looking at the pulley and it's got do you see how it's got kind of like wallered out these holes are bigger than they're supposed to be i mean this is 100 years old so it's finally had its time to be replaced or you can also drill it 90 degrees so drill the holes this way but uh we couldn't find a place to do that and also we decided to buy a new one so we finally found one that fits and we're gonna install it today i personally i don't hate it but i dislike it a lot i don't like this uh aluminum billet or or whatever spun aluminum i just don't like it it looks too modern so when we broke it we called our grandpa grandy and he sent us an original pin you can see it, it's all pitted and then this is a new one that we also ordered and then this is the new one for the aluminum Correctly. Then I'm going to use a piece of wood because I can't get the hammer down there. I've run into a small problem. Can I move the candle? Oh, good. Oh, I'm running out of room. I'm gonna use my block of wood again. And did I go too far? Let's check. Oh no, I can't get my finger down there. Actually, uh, I think I need to go just a little bit more. We're gonna tighten down this, tighten down the pulley. Nice and tight. Not too tight, but tight enough to where it doesn't wobble. Nope, you're gonna have to use the long side.
Okay, that's tight. Okay, so I got the fan belt, and this is a real leather one, and this one has a direction. If you can see it. So, but I gotta know which way the engine turns. So imagine this when I crank it, I'm spinning the engine clockwise. I mean, yeah, clockwise. So, if I need the fan belt to spin clockwise, I'm gonna look at the direction arrow, and if it's, I want it to be pointing down, I think. So now I'm gonna put it on, following that rule. Over the... Now I'm gonna get my little trusty oil can. Put just a little bit of oil in it. And make sure I get in all the spots in there. Rip off my hand. And I'm gonna get that in. So I like to crank in too. Oops, popped back up. Okay, got that on. And we can crank over the engine. So we got that done. Now we're gonna need to do the uh, fan belt tensioning. So I'm gonna tighten this down to tension our belt. Actually, that might be good. But I'm not exactly sure. I'm guessing that's good. It's not extremely tight, but it is tight. Okay. No. No. Now I'm going to tighten down this jam nut, kind of. So it doesn't back out on us. Or tighten up. Is that carpet pin hanging up on there? No, it is not. That's nice and tight. Now that I can, now that should be finished. We got it going. We can take it to the carcer now. We just got back from the car show. Great show, car show, and the Model T ran really well. People loved it. Thanks for watching DIY Luke.